Yo, 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 yo. What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Young D right here. Welcome back to another episode of Young D's Kitchen. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. If you're already subscribed, much thanks. All right, guys. Today, I'll be doing a very, very delicious coconut curry shrimp. So just kick back and relax. I'll be back right after the break. All right, welcome back guys. As I was saying, today I'll be preparing a very delicious coconut curry shrimp, right? So right here, I have 340 gram of cooked shrimp. But you guys can use the raw shrimp if you want. It doesn't matter, right? And also, I have some fresh thyme, scotch bonnet pepper, some scallion, and some garlic, right? Also, I have some vegetables and all my herbs and spices I'm going to use. So, let's get started. So, first, I'm going to start by adding two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic. I already went off camera, right? And try to get the garlic chopped fine as possible with my knife, right? If you have a food processor, you can just use the food processor to chop it. But if you're good at a knife, you can use a knife, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and add my garlic. Sorry a bit. Just gotta wait for it to get a, like a nice golden color before you add the curry. You don't want the garlic to overburn either, right? And you don't want the curry to overburn. All right. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add one tablespoon of curry powder. Stir it a bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a can of coconut milk, right? Also, gonna add the rest of my season, right? So I'm gonna add my scallion, my scotch bunny pepper, and my thyme. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a half tablespoon of black pepper. Also gonna add one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. Also gonna add 
one tablespoon of lemon and herb seasoning also one tablespoon of maggi fish seasoning now I'm gonna go ahead and stir it Also gonna add some water, right? I'm just gonna leave it to boil a bit for a couple minutes before I start adding the other stuff to it, right? Alright guys, now I'm going to go ahead and start adding my shrimp, right? So I actually take it out of the package and, and rinse it off again, right? With some fresh water. And I also went off camera and prepped some carrot, some green, red and yellow bell pepper, some onion and also some broccoli. So let's get started. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and start adding my shrimp, right? And guys, this is not going to take long to cook, right? Because the shrimp is basically cooked already. It's, it's a pre-cooked shrimp. So this whole entire meal not going to take more than 10 minutes to prepare. So we're gonna go ahead and add a tablespoon of margarine butter. Now I'm gonna add my vegetables, right? Alright, you're not gonna let this cook for long, right? Just give it like a five minutes and turn it off. Alright guys, so I'm just gonna give you a little sneak peek. Oh, look, look at it, right? Look nice, right? Look at it. Wow, watch it. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the stove off now, right? Because I don't wanna overcook my vegetables, right? So I will show the finishing product right after this. Here are the finishing product of my coconut curry shrimp. Oh, look, look delicious, right? Tastes delicious too. You guys should be tasting this right now. Wow. Look at it. Nice. Mm -mm. Wonderful. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I just want to take the time out, right? To thank a couple of person who really have my back throughout this whole YouTube process, right? Who really helped motivate me and help push my channel to where it is right now. I'm just gonna leave a couple names on the screen and I'm also gonna leave their link in my description. Alright, so let's go over to their channel and show them the same love and appreciation that you guys show me, right? They're really, really, really awesome people, right? So let's show them the same love.